Hey guys, I just want to do a little update on uh, the pack out solar generator that I built here. We did take it on a five day uh, boondock camping trip with a pop up tent just to try it out for the first time. And I made some a couple changes since then. One, I did get a uh, temp alarm on the solar controller, went off one morning while I was making coffee. So, added uh, these ventilation holes here on this side and then also to get a little cross flow i added some on this side of course that doesn't help with anything weatherproofing this but it does it's still fairly weatherproof i wouldn't leave it out in a storm but um and then i after looking at the the uh, mounting instructions for the solar controller. The heat sink on the back of the solar controller has those vertical fins, and those really, I guess, need to be mounted in a vertical position. This is about as vertical as I can get it, and still be able to read the, the LCD readout there. So it's pretty vertical. I had it sitting horizontal on top of the inverter originally, but like I said, the temp alarm went off on it, so I knew I needed to make an adjustment. And along with the ventilation holes there, I added this fan, small DC fan that I got from uh, Radio Shack. And that's on, so it's not very loud. You can hear it maybe. But it does move some air through here. So I just turned this on. If I'm going to run something that, that's got a high draw, I'll just turn that on and leave it on. But we did just get back from a uh, five-day houseboat vacation. I took this with mainly to try it out, but uh, also it worked great for early morning some of us early morning risers we couldn't run our coffee maker and our toaster without uh, firing up the big generator on the boat waking everybody up so anyway it worked flawlessly for that five days solar panel kept it charged well and uh, all the kids plugged their phones and tablets into this to keep them charged. We run the uh, coffee maker and the toaster at the same time just to see what we're to do and it run both just fine. A couple things I want to add or change to this as well. It's not super critical but for long term storage reasons I want to find a quick disconnect for my uh, for the negative post here. I found the, you know, the regular cart style that has the knob on it. Um, the problem is when I close, it sits up kind of high and it doesn't, doesn't fit in there when I close the cover. So it would be the simplest option, but I need to find a, find a way to disconnect the, everything without having to take tools and undoing all this connection here so that would make it more simple and also I want to get some longer cables for the solar panel if I ever have to use this in the house for emergency purposes I'd like to be able to run the solar panels out on the deck and the 20 foot cables just won't be long enough for that so just get some longer cables uh, and some form of a quick disconnect for the battery terminals. So that's it. I love it so far. Hopefully we'll get much more use out of it. But it's been a fun project. If you build one of these, you know it all inside and out. Anything goes haywire, you can fix it yourself, replace parts yourself. You know all the ins and outs of it rather than buying a pre-built self-contained box. A lot of them don't allow you to replace parts and you might not know what's in there to start with. So there it is.